if you're a cabinet minister and you hear that a shuffle is coming, it's obviously the source of some anxiety or concern. Uh, there are rumors all over town, of course, and your deputy and your ministerial staff will be telling you about the latest rumors, but you don't really know what's going to happen until the PM calls you. By this time tomorrow, Canada will have a new federal cabinet. There's still speculation as to who will end up where and what the motives behind the shuffle are, but former cabinet minister Alan Rock says regardless of who ends up in which ministry, it'll take some time for new ministers to get up to speed. I would say it depends on the portfolio and the minister, but in terms of me and health, for example, I went into health at the beginning of June, and in September, I was on my feet answering questions in the House. I would say that it took that long to get me up to speed. I mean, the Canadian healthcare system is a complicated construct. Rock was Attorney General, Health Minister and Industry Minister during the Chrétien government and says a minister being moved isn't necessarily a promotion or demotion. Someone might ask for new jobs out of personal interest or a desire for a less demanding portfolio. Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino is a likely candidate to be moved after persistent criticism, but Rock says it's not an easy ministry to fill. It is a very vast portfolio. I mean, everything from gun control to the border services to Corrections Canada, the RCMP, a very heavy responsibility. Canadians also getting a clearer idea of who's in and who's out. Francophone News reporting Attorney General and Justice Minister David Lametti could be dropped entirely. Procurement Minister Helena Jazik and Fisheries Minister Joyce Murray say they won't seek re-election. Likewise, the transport minister says he won't run again. As a result of this decision, I'm also stepping aside from my role as minister because the prime minister deserves a cabinet who is committed to running in the next federal campaign. While Treasury Board Secretary Mona Fortier cancelled a planned appearance in Ottawa this morning. Instead, Parliamentary Secretary Greg Fergus filled in, but couldn't say if Fortier's absence was due to a forthcoming shuffle. There's an old saying in politics, uh, you, know, those who, who, you know, those who don't know uh, can't answer that question, and those who do know can't answer that question. So. I can't answer that question. <laughs> it's also not clear yet the exact hour when the new cabinet will be announced, but planning is going ahead for Wednesday morning with an expectation that the new cabinet could meet soon after. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.